Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in today. My name is McCabe Marshall and this is Word of the Week. Word of the Week is a short video I shoot every single week for my readers and viewers. So thank you for tuning in today. At the end of this video, if you enjoyed this message, I encourage you to share it with family, with friends, with loved ones, and with coworkers. And you can do that by copying the link to this video and pasting it to your email and to your favorite social media sites. So make sure you share the good news at the end of this message. Also, you can subscribe for Word of the Week free of charge at my website, mccademarshall.com, by filling out the form there under the Word of the Week tab. And you also can subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com. Well, the Word of the Week for this week is God the Victorious Warrior. And we live in a world that is in the midst of a spiritual war. What we see around us with our physical eyes is a reflection and a reaction to what is happening in the unseen spiritual realm. There are two spirits or two kingdoms that are at war with one another even right now. There is the spirit of God that is in the work of God's children. And then there is the spirit of the world that is at work in those who don't believe in Christ. The spirit that is on the people living in the world and not walking with God is at odds with the Holy Spirit that is on the people who follow after God. And while as Christians we are not called to physically fight other people, as our battles are not flesh and blood, they are spiritual, we are called to fight spiritually. Our battles in life are not necessarily against people, but rather against the dark spirits or forces that are working against God's kingdom and his people. So when we are facing opposition in any area of life, we must realize that we have an adversary in the spiritual realm. The good news is we also have a victorious warrior, God himself. And God has gone before us and is fighting our battles for us. And this is what the prophet Zephaniah tells us in Zephaniah 3 verse 17. He says, the Lord your God is in your midst, a victorious warrior. He will exult over you with joy. He will quiet you in his love. He will rejoice over you with shouts of joy. God is not standing idly by while the enemy moves about in this world. On the contrary, the Bible says God is a warrior, a warrior who always wins. So if you want to truly be a quote-unquote winner in life, then get around God, the victorious warrior. He never loses. He always has the final say. He is the commander-in-chief of the entire universe. He is all-powerful and in full control. There is nothing that escapes his notice. In Psalm 139, 7 through 8 declares, I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I go down to the grave, you are there. In other words, whether you are living or you are dead, God knows exactly where you are. He has you in the palm of his hand. Likewise, God knows where every one of your enemies are, seen and unseen. He knows the spiritual dark armies that are at war with the heavenly angels he has assigned over your life. He knows what obstacles and setbacks and forces are coming. He also knows where the blessings are and the breakthroughs are. Psalm 24 verse 8 says, Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, invincible in battle. When you feel the pressure rise in life, the heat is turned up at work, there's conflict, the workload is heavy, or things are being shaken up at home, God is stirring in the hearts of your loved ones and your family, 
then you can have confidence that God, the victorious warrior, is at work. Ecclesiastes 3 verse 8 says, There is a time for war and a time for peace. Life is not always going to be an uphill battle. There are times when things are being shaken, and you know the war is on. Then there are times when life is calmer, things are peaceful, and it is a time to rest. These different seasons of life come and they go. If you are in the midst of a battle right now, maybe in your finances, a legal matter, a family issue, a problem at work, in a relationship, a health problem, something going on at home. Now is the time to take hold of God as your personal victorious warrior. God is both your father and your victorious warrior. He comforts you and he also fights for you. He is your Abba Father and nothing can separate you from his love. He is your protector, your vindicator, your promoter, your friend, your master, your father, and your king. He is your God. David understood who his God was. He knew God was his fearless warrior in the heavens. He knew God was the God of his forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He was the unstoppable, irresistible God of heaven. So when David went to battle, he knew that the victory was the Lord's. That's why King David declares in Psalm 20, verse 6 through 7, Now I know that the Lord rescues his anointed king. He will answer him from his holy heaven and rescue him by his great power. Some nations may boast of their chariots and horses, but we boast in the lame of the Lord our God. When you begin boasting on God's goodness, praising him for all he has done, God will deliver you with his great power. Your war in life could be different. It could be for you and for your entire family to serve God. Your war in life could be breaking out of a poverty lifestyle and a poverty mentality. Your war in life could be for you or for one of your loved ones battling against cancer. All of us go through different seasons of warring different seasons of battling. If you will choose to praise God, no matter what the circumstances look like, God will show up and show out in your life in ways you've never seen before. He is the God of all comfort and he cares very deeply for you. So today and every day, cling to God and know that he is your victorious warrior, like the prophet Zephaniah declared. Know that he is a God who battles on your behalf, and in the end, he always wins. Well, I want to pray over you that you would get this message into your spirit, that God is the victorious warrior. And what that means is that God is always warring in your behalf, as long as there are two kingdoms at work in this world. The enemy is at work against God's kingdom, but God's kingdom is much greater, far greater, far higher. And so we can have confidence as believers in God that we can overcome anything the enemy brings our way, anything. Even when life happens, setbacks in life, we know that we have a God who is a victorious warrior, and he is going before us in the heavenlies, causing things to line up, and work out for our good as we seek him. So wherever you are, if you want to bow your head and close your eyes, I just want to pray over you that you get this message into your spirit that God is 
God the victorious warrior. Father God, thank you so much for everyone listening and watching right now, Father. I just pray over everyone right now through all the battles they're going through and just the spiritual warring that is going on over each and every one of their lives, Father. I pray, Lord, that you would be their personal victorious warrior, that they would know that you sing over them, that you delight in them, that you take joy in them, just as Zephaniah says. And so, Lord, today and every day as we go out this week, Father, Cause us to walk in triumph that comes from knowing you, Jesus. And may we know, no matter what's happening in our circumstances and in the natural realm, that you are our victorious warrior. And in the end, you always win. In the end, you always have the final say. So I just pray, Lord, that you would speak the commanded blessing that comes from following and knowing you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I want to tell you the first step to knowing God as your victorious warrior is by having him in your life, having a personal relationship with God, your father. And the only way to come to know the father directly is by having a relationship with his son, Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ came some 2000 years ago and he gave up his life as an offering for our sins. He was crucified, took a grueling death and was risen from the dead on the third day so that we might have eternal life, that we too might rise from the dead one day and spend eternity with God our Father forever in heaven. So if you've never accepted the free gift of salvation that comes by asking Jesus into your heart, I just want to pray a simple prayer with you. So wherever you are, if you want to bow your head and close your eyes and just repeat after me as we say this simple prayer. Lord Jesus, Thank you for coming to die on the cross for my sins. I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Amen. Well, if you prayed that simple prayer, the Bible says that you have been spiritually born again and that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life in heaven and that you are enrolled in the citizenship of heaven. So welcome to the family of God. And the next step in your faith journey is to be water baptized and get involved in a good Bible-based Christian church and fellowship and let other believers encourage you in your faith. And make sure to read your Bible every day and learn the word of God and pray. Talk to God like you would your best friend because God cares for you. And make sure you tell someone, tell someone, tell a friend you know that is a Christian or tell someone that's a pastor of a church that you gave your life to Christ and let them encourage you to, to walk out your faith. And so, again, welcome to the family of God if you've never accepted Christ. And also, I have a lot of great resources on my website. My website is just my name, McCadeMarshall.com. And on McCadeMarshall.com, you can watch a lot of videos just like this one that have different messages. And there's a lot of videos. So you can watch and rewatch them. You can share them. So make sure you check that out on the website. And you can also subscribe to receive every three months newsletters that I write and send out to my subscribers. So if you don't receive my newsletters in the mail, it's free of charge. And I mail those out every three months. So make sure you subscribe for my quarterly newsletters if you don't, if you aren't already receiving those. And also I'm a writer and I have a couple of books out. And the first book I wrote is called Tasting the Goodness of God. And Tasting the Goodness of God is just a 31-day daily devotional I wrote so that it will, it's a book that teaches you how to spend time with God one day every day of the week for an entire month. And it doesn't take long to read. You just read one devotional. It takes five or ten minutes and it helps you get your thoughts going right. It helps you get your thoughts thinking on the things of God. So it'll just, it'll help you learn how to spend time with God. So if you don't have the, my devotional book, make sure you order that online. I'd be more than happy to sign that and ship it to you. And also I have another book out called Breathe. And Breathe is a little bit longer and more in depth. And it's about God breathing new life into your God-given dreams. And inside each and every one of us, God has put seeds of destiny and he's put dreams in our heart that he wants us to fulfill. And that's what Breathe is all about. 
So if you don't have Breathe, make sure you order that online, and I'd be more happy to sign that and ship that out to you. So make sure you check out those books on the website at the, at the end of this message. All right, well, in closing, I just want to declare a special blessing over you. I declare God is your personal victorious warrior. He is going before you, making your crooked, crooked places straight and crushing the adversary who is trying to keep you from your destiny. As you set your eyes on God and his holy word, he is strengthening your inner spiritual person to grow and overcome in every area of your life. With God always having the final victory, there is nothing you cannot accomplish with his help. In Jesus' name. Well, I love you and I'm praying for you. God bless you.